Hi, this is Audrey. Can we reduce air pollutants by driving electric cars? Wouldn't the number of air pollutants coming out of a power plant that produces electric energy for charging an electric car and a gasoline car be similar? The answer is that even if the electric energy to drive an electric car is produced from a conventional power plant, it emits much fewer air pollutants than a gasoline car. The following picture compares the amount of air pollutant emissions when driving a gasoline car when driving an electric car using electric energy produced by the current power plant and when driving an electric vehicle using electric energy produced by an eco-friendly power plant. Compared to gasoline cars, CO2 can be reduced by about 64% when electricity is produced at existing power plants and 100% in the case of eco-friendly power plants. NOx can be reduced by about 65% if electricity is produced at existing power plants and by 100% in the case of electro-friendly power plants. Compared to gasoline cars, fine dust is the same in the case of current power plants and in the case of eco-friendly power plants, it can be reduced by 75%. Since the power generation rate for of coal, natural gas, nuclear power, and eco-friendly power plants to produce electricity varies from state to state and region to region, air pollutant emissions from existing power plants vary. Still, air pollution emissions can be reduced in all areas. Los Angeles, notorious for its smog, has some of the cleanest air in the world as California stays under lockdown to prevent the spread of coronavirus. In conclusion, automobile exhaust is California's number one cause of air pollution. CO2, NOx, and ozone are all emitted the most by automobiles and pollute the air. Air pollution kills more than 6 million people worldwide and more than 1,300 in Los Angeles yearly. Most of the air pollutants emitted from transportation can be eliminated by replacing a vehicle that uses a gasoline or diesel engine with an electric vehicle that uses a battery or a hydrogen fuel cell and an electric motor. Today, I will review electric vehicles using a battery or a hydrogen fuel cell in more detail. Electric vehicles use electric energy to drive an electric motor to rotate the wheels. It does not generate driving energy by directly burning fossil fuels such as gasoline or diesel engines, but merely converts stored electric energy into driving power. The same comparison of the energy conversion process of conventional engine vehicles and electric motor vehicles are as follows. Case 1. Conventional engine vehicles. Conventional engines convert a chemical energy into driving power by burning gasoline, diesel, or natural gas. Case 2. Electric motor vehicles with a battery. The power plant uses gasoline, diesel, or natural gas to generate electrical energy and transmits it into a charging station. Electric energy is charged to the electric vehicle's battery at the charging station. The electric motor converts electric energy into driving power. Case 3. Electric motor vehicles with a hydrogen fuel cell. The power plant produces electric energy using solar or wind power, makes hydrogen, and transmits to a charging station. At the charging station, hydrogen is charged to the tank of the electric vehicle. The fuel cell stack converts hydrogen into electric energy, and the electric motor converts electric energy into driving power. In case 2, a power generation facility for converting chemical energy into electric energy and a battery for storing electric energy are essential to driving an electric vehicle. Then, wouldn't the air pollution caused by exhaust gases from automobiles using engines equal the air pollution caused by exhaust gases generated while operating a fossil power plant to generate the electric energy required for electric vehicles? Many studies show that driving an electric vehicle using electric energy generated from a power plant has higher efficiency and lower emissions than conventional vehicles driven using gasoline or diesel. 
The chart below indicates that the mileage per gallon of fuel for conventional vehicles must be significantly increased to keep air pollution the same when using electric cars powered by electric energy generated by power plants located in most states in the United States. At the Earth Justice site, electric vehicles have a smaller carbon footprint than gasoline-powered cars, no matter where your electricity comes from. The electricity that charges and fuels battery electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles come from power grids, which rely on a range of sources from fossil fuels to clean renewable energy. Energy grids can vary from one state to another, which means that the carbon footprint of driving an electric vehicle ranges depending on the source of its electricity. Earth Justice attorneys are working across the country to bring 100% clean energy, but on our way there, a portion of the electricity in this country will continue to be generated by the burning of fossil fuels. The very good news, because electric vehicles are more efficient in converting energy to power cars and trucks, electricity across the board is cleaner and cheaper as a fuel for vehicles, even when the electricity comes from the dirtiest grid. Running electric or hybrid cars on the grid in any state has lower greenhouse gas emissions than gasoline-powered cars, as revealed in a study by experts at the Union of Concerned Scientists. And as states clean up their energy grids, the benefits of electric vehicles become stronger. Try out their How Clean Is Your Electric Vehicle online tool to see how electric vehicle emissions measure out where you live. Get a personalized report on how much carbon pollution you save by going electric based on your zip code and electric vehicle make model. Compared to conventional automobile engines, large-scale power plants generate electric energy with high efficiency and use it to drive electric vehicles with higher efficiency and lower emissions. As the Union of Concerned Scientists cite, David Rachmuch said, One of the questions I'm most frequently asked about electric vehicles is, are they really a cleaner option? While it's obvious that a fully electric vehicle eliminates tailpipe emissions, people often wonder about the global warming emissions from generating the electricity to charge an electric vehicle. The latest data affirms that driving on electricity produces significantly fewer emissions than using gasoline and is getting better over time. To compare the climate changing emissions from electric vehicles to gasoline powered cars, we analyzed all the emissions from fueling and driving both types of vehicles. For a gasoline car, that means looking at emissions from extracting crude oil from the ground, moving the oil to a refinery, making gasoline and transporting gasoline to filling stations, in addition to combustion emissions from the tailpipe. For electric vehicles, the calculation includes both power plant emissions and emissions from the production of coal natural gas, and other fuels power plants use. When looking at all these factors, driving the average EV is responsible for fewer global warming emissions than the average new gasoline car everywhere in the U.S. In some parts of the country, driving the average new gasoline car will produce four to seven times the emissions of the average EV. For example, the average EV driven in upstate New York has emissions equal to a 231 mpg gasoline car. And in California, a gasoline car would need to get 122 mpg to have emissions as low as the average EV. In summary, the conclusions are as follows. First, electric vehicles which use energy generated from power plants using coal or oil are not a completely green solution but emit fewer air pollutants than conventional engine vehicles. Second, electric vehicles using energy from green power plants are almost eco-friendly, generating almost no air pollutants. Third, the green power station cannot generate energy when needed, so storage and transport are very important. Thank you for watching. Audrey Choi has spoken so far.